Studio One. Anywho, here is Master Zick, the Jedi, who can somehow summon his staff with the Force. He's a old, senile man, and, you know, he can't really see all the blenders and fans in front of him, so you just go up to the fan. He'll follow you, just like all the other fruit, and uh, that's when you just knock him off his apple and just homing attack him twice with a charged-up homing attack. And this old man can't handle the blue hedgehog, no matter how much combat experience he's got. So yeah, just like all the other Deadly Six, Master Zick is taken out in two charged-up homing attacks. Bring it, old man! So Master Zick is using the Force to surround himself with a whole bunch of fruits, and uh, you can just... <laughs> Once again, you can just homing attack him to immediately make him retreat, and then you use the Rocket Wisp to follow him to the planetoid he went to, but uh, you can actually completely skip the homing attack aspect and just sort of jump in the center and keep jumping on him in order to uh, whittle his health down really quickly. It only takes like two basic homing attacks or basic jumps to uh, make him retreat and run for the hills. And once you get to the third section, uh, he's done with the Force. He's done using his... Seriously, he has the Force. He's a Jedi. He's evil Yoda. <laughs> but uh, Master Zick is done with the fruit, and then he just sort of runs, shooting a whole bunch of energy balls at you, which are easy to dodge because they're super slow. And you just do two charged up homing attacks. Boom. That's it. Oh, Master Zick, you... You trained Zabok? Really? Really? Your lesson begins now. This is my least favorite boss fight in the 3DS version, and really it's only because the movement is weird and because the camera is not pulled back far enough. So like, he shoots a fruit at you and you have to homing attack it from the back, Otherwise, it's just going to bounce off of his fruit, or he's going to absorb it or something, I forget. But you have to homing attack the fruit in order to shatter his fruit shield, so that you can get some opportunities to homing attack him and whittle his health down. I only take, like, really quick homing attacks, because I don't really have enough time to do a super charged up homing attack. But, uh... Yeah, you just, you just homing attack the fruit he sends at you after you jump over them. They will shatter his shield. Every now and then he will regenerate the shield. And he has the chance of sending out a durian, which, if you hit it right on its weak spot, will release a drill wisp. And you can use the drill wisp to burrow through the center of this platform and hit him from under, you know? Like, he's going to send it right now. I hit it, wait for the weak spot, hit it, there's my drill wisp, and then you can drill into him for a nice shot. But as soon as you get out of the land, if you miss him, the drill wisp is off. So you better make sure that your hit counts. Like mine did just there. The, the movement in this boss fight is really weird. Like, it's not like... showed us that Tails is going to tamper the, with the machine, so we kind of know it's going to be okay. I will hold nothing back. I mean, the storytelling in Sonic Lost World isn't perfect. I mean, you could ask the question in the very beginning of Windy Hill, why did Eggman send Zaz after Sonic, but he didn't send any of the other Deadly Six? Like, he sends Zaz, but then he takes the other five with him to go do stuff, and I'm just like, Eggman, why don't you just send all six of them on Sonic, like, right at 